this picture, seen from far away, looks like a shape. And this is the coat of arms, or the emblem of Trinity Hall, this college, which is founded in 1350. 1350, by the way, is a significant date because it's the year after 1349. And 1349 is the year of the Great Plague in London, one of the Great Plagues. And that's um, that wiped out the entire um, lawyer generation in, uh, in London. And some people thought it was an act of God, but the founder of this college, Bishop Bateman, thought that the new generation of lawyers had to be retrained, and that's why the college was founded in the first place. But anyway, we don't have to have that in the recording. So we have a very strange object. Um, this is the coat of arms of Trinity Hall. If you look closely, it consists of eights and ones all lined up. There is a little bit of irregularity here, but otherwise it's followed by zero, 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 and ends in a one. This turns out to be a prime. And the number of digits in this prime is 1350, which is the year of the foundation of the college. This was a gift from J.F. McKee, whom I didn't know personally, but my senior colleague Tom Kerner did. He was a junior research fellow, in other words, a postdoc of this college, who came maybe 20 years ago, I am told by Tom. And then when a fellow of the college leaves the college, and it's traditional for that fellow to leave some gift to the college, and usually the gift has to do with the subject, and he, rather enterprisingly, left this gift to the college. The coat of arms of Trinity Hall with lots and lots of um, zeros at the end, but with one, and which is a prime. Now, how surprising is that? I'm really lost in awe of somebody who not only had this idea, but actually implemented this idea. And I think even today, it's a bit difficult to check that this number is a prime. I mean, there are lots of primes in the world of special types, for example, Mersenne primes and what have you, and for which the you know, algorithm for checking that they are prime, checking um, primarity, is a very well-known piece of mathematics. But this is a fairly sort of random prime. I mean, it starts with 8888 and then so on. And so, how do you discover that such a thing is prime? Uh, the purpose of his game, of course, was to hit the prime exactly at 1,350 digits because it's the year of the foundation of the college. So, you can't really fine-tune um, with the number of digits. That's why I think there is an irregularity here in the beginning, 0 followed by 621. And we are still looking for the special significance of the number 621. I'm sure there is some cosmic importance to this number as well. What's your attachment to it? To be honest, it's sitting in the lunchroom, but I think most fellows don't notice its presence. It's just sitting there among some dictionaries and books on the side of the, uh, of the table. And um, every once in a while, when somebody like you, who has interest in science and who has a mischievous aspect to the personality, visits the college, I love to show this to the people. And they are all kind of amazed. Again, not only that somebody had an idea, but somebody actually implemented this whole thing. It's, it's really admirable, I think. Since recording with Tadashi, we've shed a bit more light on the identity of the mysterious prime number creator, J.F. McKee. It is, in fact, James McKee. Here he is around the time he was a research fellow in pure mathematics at Trinity Hall. And here he is now where he's a full professor at Royal Holloway. I did chat with him on the phone and by email, and if you'd like to find out more, have a look in the video description. And the point farthest from the handle behave exactly the same way, whereas 45 degrees off you get the higher.